there's a misconception that if you are paid in cash, it is not taxable, but that's not true. You have to pay taxes on all of your income unless the government has specifically said that you don't have to pay taxes on that type of income. Cash is not one of them, and it is completely taxable, or rather, you are completely required to report it on your tax return. So there are many people who will ask, well, how do I know how much money I made if I'm getting paid in cash? If you're an employee, you should receive a W-2 with all of the income you have received. If you made money that is not reported on the w-2 you still have to report it on your tax return although all employers must give their employees w-2 if you're working in the united states and you're not authorized to do so it is possible that your employer will not give you a w-2 i recommend that you try to get a w-2 from your employer but if you can't then you still have to report the income that you've earned if you live here year-round or otherwise are qualified as a resident alien as they call it or basically a foreign resident of the united states you have to pay taxes like any other citizen and sometimes you actually have to pay more due to the earned income credit not being available for people who are not authorized to work in the United States generally speaking that means you generally have to report your worldwide income if you are here in the United States uh, you have to report your income from all places all around the world no matter where you earn it this video is not really about how you pay taxes if you're undocumented it's just about how you file your taxes if you get paid in cash but if you're self-employed or don't receive a w-2 you basically have to track all of your income unless you receive a 1099 or some other report with all of your income reported on that document for the year there are several ways that you can track it but if you have a bank for your business that's one way you can see how much money you deposited monthly or annually at the least by checking your bank statements but there's a chance that not all of the money you received or earned will be deposited in the bank account so you can use an excel sheet or a google sheet or just write it down on a piece of paper at the end of the day then from there you report that to the irs but the irs says you have to report it if you are self-employed you also need to account for your expenses and have receipts for those expenses that you incurred because those are deductible and can lower the amount of taxes you have to pay now i'm going to do a quick example uh run through of how you would report the income if you got paid in cash just two quick examples that are very simple i'm going to start with using the TurboTax desktop software this is basically the stuff that you you download on your computer or you have a CD that you bought from like a store and then you download it to your computer that way at the end of the day it's all going to be pretty much the same yeah all right and so we're just going to run through these questions very quickly Although I'm using the desktop software, it should be pretty much the same no matter what software you're using. The idea, the principle uh, should be pretty much the same no matter what. Uh, so essentially what you'll do is put in all of your W-2 information. Most softwares allow you to upload it. You can upload it or you can type it in yourself. And then essentially what you're going to do here is uh, type in all your employer information here and then you would continue. All right, and so here basically your W-2 should have all of the income that you made as far as cash, receipts, and then you'll just put your type information in here. For one other reason or another, you had unreported tips or unreported cash that you received. You can just click unreported tips. This is a uh, cash earnings here. And then you could just type it in here based off what it is. Tip that were more $20 or more. You could type that in there. Tips that are were less than $20 per month. Nine cash tips. Total tips that you were paid out through tip sharing. Do which one qualifies for you and and then that should be fine. And then you continue. That will get factored into your income and then you can actually go here and then take a quick look at the tax summary and you can see that all get added into. Now I'm gonna show a little bit more of a complicated situation. Now I'm gonna to go to business here on this tax software, but once again, the tax software you might use might be a little bit different. This is gonna be, for example, if you have a business income of some sort. So we're just gonna go here. We're gonna say that you're a sole proprietor or self-employed and you say yes. And we're gonna just go here here and say yes we're going to basically type in this information so let's say your business is selling water at red lights that's your business you sell water at red lights people pay you cash and then you uh, neither started that so we can make it a little bit simpler here do you have any employees no we're going to say no for the situation do you have an employer id no D uh, we're just going to continue we don't want to apply for now you want to look at whatever you have for your business unclassified miscellaneous here just for the sake of time um but 
but you would just look to find the one that most suits your situation. This is basically asking if you use the cash or accrual method. Uh, you'll just say yes, unless you don't use it. I mean, it depends on your actual situation. Do you have any payments that require you to file 1099? Unless you have contractors that you have hired, then the answer will be no. And then you'll look through all of these, see if it applies to you. Uh, and then you can just say if none of that applies, you can kind of just continue past that. Once you finish all of that, you can finally get to the part where you start putting your business income in. Presumably, if you received a 1099 NEC for all the cash that you earned, you can just put that in here. If otherwise, then you can just put that here in this other income, unless you receive a 1099 miscellaneous 1099K or some other thing. But if you have general income right here, not reported, you can go to general income. And then basically you go here. This is more probably for TurboTax than anything else because this doesn't really show up in your tax return. Selling. And then we'll just put in selling that good Walter. And then right here, we'll say that you generated a good amount of cash. Let's say you made $10,000 from selling water, maybe outside of a stadium or something like that in a football game or something. And then you have business expenses. So maybe you have business expenses, maybe you have business assets, but let's just say theoretically your only business expense is water. Now, generally speaking, that would go under cost of goods sold, but uh, for a small business, generally you can just put it under some other type of other expense. So right now we're just say other common business expenses. We'll just do other miscellaneous for now. Cost of bottled water. Maybe it cost you $6,000 for the water and that will then lower your taxes, which is nice. That's beautiful. All right, now, so if we go right here at the top where it says forms, we click forms. You can't do this on the online website, uh, but you can do this on the download version. And you can kind of look at the schedule C. And as you can see here, you have your $10,000 of income, and then you have your 10,000, or I'm sorry, your $6,000 of expenses here, with your net income of $4,000, which is beautiful. So we can go back to easy steps. So then once you're finished all of that, then you basically just continue and then you answer all of the other questions that you have to answer. And that's basically how you put in the information if you have uh, yeah, expenses. Now, if you, as far as the accounting is concerned, it's very, very simple. You just have to find a way to account for your expenses and your income. You have to write it down on a piece of paper or keep the receipts. Or just find a way to tally them up. It's probably best that you write it down every month or have a bank account specifically that you use strictly for business expenses where you put all of your income into the bank account and all of your expenses come out of that bank account. If you don't want to do that or you can't do that for one reason or another, the next best thing that you can do is take the money that you earn and then at the end of the day, write down all of the income you made, all the expenses you had for that day for the business. And then at the end of the year, you just add it all up. If you can write it down, you can put it in your cell phone if so you don't lose it. Um, that's the ideal way to go about doing it. Just write down your income and your expenses all at the end of the day, and then maybe give it to an accountant or someone else to do that. Now, if you want someone to do your tax returns for you, you can contact me via Instagram, or you can leave a comment in your comment section below. Anyway, goodbye.